Hello, my name is James Cash. I wanted to do another little Emacs video today. Uh, this time, talking about one of the um, one of the features of Emacs that I think is uh, kind of the most powerful feature, uh, but one of the things that's not super obvious when you first start using it, and that's uh, how powerful uh, Emacs's introspective capabilities are, and really the fact that it's a truly extensible editor. Uh, so. For example, the thing I want to start with is, let's say I'm in this org mode buffer, and I'm finding that something that's a little annoying is if I'm typing stuff in a bolded list like this, when I get to a new line, I have to manually make a, um, a new uh, line, like copy this thing in. It's a little annoying. I think it should automatically do that if I'm in a list. And I also notice if I'm using evil mode, if I press O to open a new line, it does automatically put that bullet in. So clearly it's something that um, it can do, but I'd really like the ability to make just enter in normal, like insert mode, um, do the same thing. So how would I go about doing this? Well, it's actually uh, pretty easy to start seeing what's going on in Emacs. The first thing I'm gonna do is figure out what commands um, are these keys actually sending. So uh, the default will be uh, control, C, control H, K, like the help and then key is the mnemonic. I've it down to F1, which I think might also be a default. So I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna go to the end of the line and insert, I'm gonna press F1 and then K. And now it's gonna ask, okay, what key? I'm gonna press enter. And it tells me, okay, the return is running the command org return, which is interactive closure, blah, blah, blah and then it's in this org.el. So I can actually just press enter, and now I jump right to the source of this function. So we can have a look at this here. You can see it's doing a fair amount of stuff. It's doing some things that will do different things if you're in a table, or if you're uh, following a link or a timestamp, doing some stuff to do stuff with headings, but keep the tags there, doing some stuff for indenting, and then kind of this default. So, okay, interesting, this is good to know. I can see there's a bunch of cases here using this cond expression to, in these different conditions, um, do different things based on where we're at. So, good thing to know here. Now let's go back to um, our test file and the command that acted more like I wanted to was O in evil normal mode. So I'm gonna again press F1K and then hit O. And now it tells me, okay, that's running evil org open below, which can be found here. So I can just jump to the definition of this function here. And we can see this one seems a bit simpler. Um, it's doing some stuff. So this, you can see here, it's if there's some setting is set and it's at a table, that doesn't seem likely to be what I want. Does that to some stuff? And you can see here again, so it's checking some setting. And then it's also saying org at item p. And so in, you know, list the dash p uh, suffix is, it means it's a predicate so it's returning true or false that seems uh, likely to be what i want uh, so let me see what this function does so i'm going to press my help key so f1 and then f to, for help a function uh, by default it'll be the function that i have the cursor on so i can just hit enter and this tells me that org add item p tells me it's a point in a line starting a hand formatted item. So cool, that's exactly what I wanted to check. And then looking at the code, we see, okay, well, it moves to the end of the line and then uses org insert item to insert a new item. And then I can actually see um, in the bottom of my screen here, because I have this thing called a LDOC turned on, it shows me the, the kind of the doc string for org insert item without me having to pull up the help for it, which is convenient, because it tells me that that argument is whether it should show a checkbox or not. And indeed, um, we see the argument it passes in is using another function to check, is the item we're currently on a checkbox item? So it does that, and then it inserts um, that line just to put the point there. So, or put into insert mode. So this looks very promising. So this is the functionality that I want, and now I just want to bring it to this other function. Something else maybe worth mentioning while we're here actually, is for curious, what do these things actually do? Is using the function, I think, I believe it's um, find function. We can use that, or find function at point. We could use to see 
um, where that function is actually defined. So by default, it would be find function at point. I have it bound to uh, close square bracket control D just because that's a binding that I was used to. So I have my, the point on org insert item. When I run this function, it will jump me to the definition of this function. So this is super helpful when you're kind of following around uh, the thread of some library code when you, you know, especially you see this function is defined on this key using that like help key and then K. You can go to the definition of that function. Then a lot of times you might need to go kind of another level deeper to say, okay, well, what does this function do? Where is this function defined? And you can use this find function at point just to easily jump to the definition. So let's see. Uh, so we can have org el pulled up because where we have this function. And then here we have uh, the similar function here that we wanted to use. So we want to now, we want to kind of make the original org function do what we want. Um, there's some kind of, we'll say maybe smarter, some more advanced ways we could do this that would be more maintainable uh, using advice. The Emacs has a very powerful advice system which you can use to say do something before or after running a function or around it, which um, can be very, very helpful, very powerful. Um, you can use, uh, there's, li there's a library called EL Patch, Patch EL, which lets you say, okay, load this library, but redefine part of this function, which is also very cool. This, that's really useful if you have a patch, you want to say submit to a library, but while you're waiting for that patch to get processed, um, you still want to have the effect without maintaining a fork. It can be useful for doing that. For now, though, we're just going to do it the simplest, dumbest way possible, which is we're just going to go into the definition of the um, org return here. And let's just say there's we have this con statement. I'm just going to add another case here where I'm going to say, um, and because I find it annoying if I press enter in the middle of the line, I'm going to assume I want to actually break that line. I don't want to make that be an item. So I'm going to say if we're at the end of a line, there's EOLP, which I just remember at this point is, are we at the end of the line? And, and this is where I'm going to use the function from the evil thing, say org add item P. So if we're at the end of the line and we're at an item, then what do we want to do? Well, here I'm pretty much just going to copy the behavior from that evil org open below, which is to say I'm going to go end of visible line. And then I'm going to say org insert item org at item checkbox P. And I think that's all I need to do. So I'm going to save this. So I'm just saving you know, inside the actual org um, file wherever it's loading on my system. Then I'm just going to eval this, um, re redefine this definition and say eval the fun, which by default is control meta X. So I'm going to run that. I've redefined our function. And now if I go back to my test file, we are here, so I'm typing, and then I can hit enter. And hey, it did it, it put our item thing there. So we can hit enter, we can see if we have it be a checkbox. We hit enter, it keeps it on there. That's neat. Um, now, if we're still in, it's not in items though, we can still press enter, and we haven't lost any of the you know, normal functionality we would expect. So this is just a really simple demo. Um, as I said, the ways of actually like making this um, kind of patch to org more maintainable would probably be some, using uh, something like the advice add feature um, or using something for making when you're making more substantial changes to the implementation of a function, um, using something like uh, EL patch to declaratively say, okay, I want to make these edits to functions in another library. Those can be really good uh, maintainable ways of generating your own patches. But kind of the beauty of the Emacs is if it's just a quick and dirty fix where you don't really care about contributing it, it's just scratching a little itch, Emacs make it just so easy for you to say, hey, my editor, it's doing this thing. How is it doing that? And if I wanted to be, I want to make it a little bit different. How can I do that? Turns out it's really, really easy. Like Emacs just gives you all the tools to make it be whatever you want. So. I hope uh, people found this interesting. 
Um, if you'd like me to maybe talk in more detail about some of these other things like using patch EL or EL patch or using advice, um, I might do another video on that. This is kind of more of just a, uh, a primer of the idea of using the power of Emacs where you can ask Emacs, what does this key actually do? Show me what it does. Make it do something else. So I hope you found this interesting and have a great day.